three core gaming exploits. We got raided last night. This is this war of mine again. We got all of the wood and components, bullets, meds, weapon parts, jewelry, coffee beans from the abandoned cottage again, which we've raided. I know it's been rather boring recently. But trust me, this is all building up to me building all of the stuff. Now we need to get people to sleep. Try and get Marco recovered. It might be worth building another bed because he's out for the count. I am going to build the last barricade. Yes. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. The last barricade is going to go up and there will be no more people dicking on me so much because we have weapons. We can defend ourselves. There will be no clear way in except for possibly that window there. Unless it's like all of these windows then get in because that would be stupid because like, you know, we'll fill that two holes in the wall, three holes in the wall and then like if we have to do this window, that window, that window there, that window, that window and that window then I have just pulled my resources in to a pointless endeavour. But if we can make a water filter, then I can make some more water and that would be handy. And I can do that shit. We need food. We're pretty good on food for the moment. We've got three veg vegetable balls, three cans and eight meats. So, yeah. And we're making water and everything. So, I mean, we're doing alright. I'll be honest. Too many sleepless nights. Yeah, it has been a bit of a shit one, hasn't it? Alright, let's see what the radio has to say. Band of looters on the rampage, taking homes every night. Extreme vigilance is advised. Thanks to some humanitarian aid drops, coffee is once again available in Pagoran. It remains an expensive commodity, but its prices no longer border on extortion. Good. Rather chill outside, we should think about heating. Oh, I don't have enough wood to burn. We need wood. We need wood. Oh my god, wood is going to become a precious commodity, isn't it? That's not good. That's not good. If wood becomes a preci precious commodity, then we then we may have problems. Come on, catch you. I finished sleeping, so perhaps can get a lay down, for Christ's sake. Marco's now only slightly wounded, so he doesn't need more bandages, so he's doing well. And uh, we might as well use this last bit of wood to make some moonshine because now I can go and trade with the military. And when is this going to produce again? I mean, it takes far too long. Alright, you don't need to see. He does though because he's still slightly wounded. Okay, we made it to the night time. Okay, so the abandoned cottage is night look ninety six percent done, so that's cleared out. I'm gonna count that's cleared out. So, uh, I mean, I don't. I need wood. I need wood. We need wood in a big way. Huge amounts of materials, lots of food, danger. That's when I may have something to trade. Oh, it's those guys that may have something to trade, but probably not. But yeah, Katya. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to send her, but she's not tired. She's the only one not tired. In fact, uh, he needs to sleep in the bed because he needs to recover still. And these two need to guard, really. Even though they're tired. They're going to be knackered tomorrow. They're going to be the ones that are sleeping. So, yeah, we're going to go back to the semi-detached house with Katya instead. Katya is going to take a risk for the, for the group here. So she's going to take the pistol and the knife. And we're just going to go. We're just going to go for it and hope for the best. God. Oh wait, this is this the building that I was at before? I don't think this is the building that I was at before. This is different. I I've gone. I thought I w was going to a different place, but I was wrong. Go down. Go down. Go down. Right. Okay. So this isn't too dangerous. <laughs> really hope this isn't too dangerous. Oh, open door food. My budge, fuck's sake. 
Bloody rats. Components for days. Rats everywhere, man. Hey, I've got something you'll like. Okay, so this guy's willing to trade. It's locked. Oh, fuck's sake. Okay, I'll be with you in a sec, random dude. I'm just going to check this area out. Oh my god, all the rubble. Jesus. Wood. Oh, God. Okay, so we've got some wood. That's what we came here for. We got some of the wood down in the basement. Oh, wait. Hold on. Uh-uh. Go back down. Go back down. Pull that down for next time. Next time we're here, we can just go straight through then. Not have to worry about too much. Wood, 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 wood. Get rid of that cigarette. Wood. That's going to become so important, that is. The crude letter on the wall reads Hannah, Thomas, and me moved in with Uncle Redu. We buried Mum in the yard. Take care, Daddy. Petra. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> we, borrowed your we buried your wife in the garden um, and we moved in with your uncle. Have fun, Dad. I'm assuming. I don't know. Bones for days. There is a lot to scavenge here, parts-wise. I can see me coming back here many, many times. We'll see what that guy has as well. Hopefully he don't rob us. Get more wood. We don't really need the weapon parts. We don't for the moment. But it's good to know that they're here. There's a guy there smoking. Does he have a weapon? It doesn't look like he has a weapon, but still, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't want to piss him off too much. Should take some pills from the bath cabinet. So he's ill. My legs went numb. Okay. So this is a trading post, but I mean, it's possible to sneak in. They have bullets, loads of wooden stuff, bandages, food, the lot. So. I don't really have much for you to trade, mate. Just stuff that I stole from that last place, so. I might. I, I may come back. I may come back. Or I may come through the underground and steal your shit. In fact, I can get one of these poles out of the way. Uh, I won't be able to get both of them by hand. And then I can come under your shit and steal your shit. Hopefully, don't get noticed by you stealing your shit. Yeah, I know you can use a shovel. I'm sorry that we don't have one. I, it's making me guilty. I'm make, they're making me want to build a shovel, but at the same time, I don't know. I could build, I could build one, but it's like resources and stuff, resource management. We need wood. We need wood to keep the place warm. Now that's the new thing. Cause it's now coming into the winter, and on top of that, oh, it's just you know, there's too many things that we need stuff for, and I know, I know that tools degrade or disappear on this and I don't want to just keep building shovels and shit when I don't need them. I mean, the fact is I've cleared all of this place out. I've got a full bag so even if I did get into this area right now it'd be kind of pointless. But getting into this area next time would be really handy. Awesome. Well done. Time to leave. Cat has become... become I'm, I'm getting more fond of Cat's here now. I'm getting more fond of her. Because, uh... I mean, yeah, she's contributing more. She's helping out the guys whilst they're tired and wounded and stuff. I'm just hoping that we haven't got raided again tonight. That would be bad. That would be so bad if we got raided again tonight. I really could do without that. 
Especially if they're going to wound someone. But yeah, day 17. Thank you for watching Week Your Gaming Exploits. Um, the stuff here on Chelms Hills you do. Did we get raided? Everyone's sort of awake, so that's a bad sign. That's a bad sign as people stand there. Yeah, we got raided. Okay, we'll find out how bad we got hit in the next episode. Thank you for watching Recall Gaming Exploits. There's stuff here, bitch. Well, find out how bad we got hit next time. Thank you for watching Recall Gaming Exploits. There's stuff here, bitch. Channel you do, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.